Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba, we started. You gotta turn around and look at the camera. Bubba. Bubba. Bubba, we started. Hi. You have to say hi to your friends. <laughs> hi guys, thank you for joining our tour. I wanted to start off, this is Bubba, first of all. Say hi Bubba. He's a little camera shy. He's a sweetie though. Hi, hi. Say hi Bubba. <laughs> He's going to help us get our video tour underway. We're about to walk through and meet all of our adoptable cats and kittens. And, um, and then we're going to finish all, uh, uh, finish off with the rabbits. Um, they're finishing cleaning the rabbit area right now. So we're going to go through and meet all the cats first and then see what's going on over with the rabbits. Um, before we get started, uh, we have a lot of cuties that want to meet you. Hey, Jenny. Thank you for the stars. You're so awesome. Every week you send the stars, and that is fantastic. I can't say um, how much we appreciate that. That's great support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone, um, I know we're looking at cats right now. Um, it is Heartworm Awareness Month. Um, I know you guys have dogs too, so if you need to get current on heartworm testing and prevention, um, feel free to call and schedule an appointment. We'd love to help you out. Also, dun, da, 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 our doghouse competition is back this year. Uh, we are going to be having the doghouses on display here at the shelter. Uh, this is our 17th annual designer doghouse competition and auction. Uh, we have... This is such a fun event every year. If you are interested, please visit our website. Uh, we need dog house builders. We need creatives and builders. Um, just because you can't adopt a pet doesn't mean you can't still help them. Um, and this is a really, really great way to help the pets here. And then also, Bubba's done. He's like, just, I don't, I don't care what you're doing. Here, Bubba. Oh, Bubba. Um, anyway, so we still have a little bit of time left on our t-shirt design contest if anyone is interested in submitting designs. And then just a reminder about story time. We have story time coming up every day. You just need to register for that. So I think with that, we'll get started. Well, we've met Bubba. We're going to go see who else we can meet. This is Freeway. Hi, Freeway. Freeway is actually a very, very sweet boy. He just likes a slow intro. <laughs> Let's see. Star. Congratulations, Star is tagged for transport with RPM. Congratulations. We've had really great success transferring pets through our transfer partners, RPM and Houston Pet Set, and we really appreciate them. And they've helped us place a lot of animals. Hi, guys. This is Taz. He's a cutie. He's not been around other cats or dogs, um, but he does like to play rough, so maybe no little, little kids. Probably a good idea. Hi, Blackie. This is Blackie. We have a lot of black cats right now. A lot of cute little house panthers who need homes. This is Eclipse. Hey. Hey, Eclipse. Hello. Clips is a boy. Remember, blue collars for boys, red for girls. Hey, handsome. Also, um, our Tour for Life adoption event wrapped up last Sunday on the 11th. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who helped get the word out. We had a really, really great week-long adoption event. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at these guys. Um, and we found homes for about 20 to 30 more animals that week than we do on our normal week, at least during these crazy quarantine COVID times. Hey. 
And we haven't announced it yet, um, but we do have a very special announcement coming this week. So please watch out for that. And it does have something to do with North Shore Animal League. So listen closely. This is Mithra. She's still waiting for her home. Love her. So this, this is the kitty I wanted to show you guys. This is Calyx, her little moo kitty. Calyx is a boy, three and a half months old. He's super, super cute. I'm gonna try to flip his paperwork over. Let's see, I think he came in as a stray. Oh look, now I took the paperwork off. I can't get it back on. Oh y'all, I'm just gonna put it on the top. I'm not supposed to do that anyways. So that's Calyx, he is so cute. And he looks really, really friendly. Super social. Oh, look at those spots. Oh, look at those spots. He is so cute. <laughs> I love him. This sweetie is probably one of my favorite cats right now. This is Freya. Freya, wake up. She's super sweet and social when she's awake, which apparently is not right now. Freya, hey, there we go. I don't want to open the door because I know she's going to try to get out and climb on my shoulder. It'll be a mess. Hi. But she is an absolute sweetheart. Olive up here. She's super sweet too. She is one of our senior cats. She is nine years old. Just a reminder, we do have a Seniors for Seniors adoption program where if you are a senior citizen, you can adopt a senior pet here at the shelter and we will waive the adoption fee because we figure that's a pretty good match. Seniors and seniors, low key, chilling, a lot of lap time. Sounds good. Hi, this is Jerry. Jerry needs to be the only pet. She's super sweet. She thinks she's a lap cat. <laughs> she's very talkative. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. Stray kitty up here, getting to know her. Seems very sweet. I like her eyelashes. It's kind of hard to tell with the backlighting. Hopefully we can get a good picture of her for you guys. This is Monica. Monica's super awesome too. That's Sally's foster. Monica's a year and a half old. Look at that face. Ah. If you're ever thinking about fostering, we highly recommend it. Hey, I like your tail. You have a fancy tail. Hello. Yeah, if you're ever thinking about fostering, we need all the fostering help we can get. Um, we have a lot of dogs that we treat throughout the year uh, who have heartworms. And so we do put them through heartworm treatment before going up for adoption. Um, we feel that it's better and safer for them to go through actual imidacide treatment um, while being cared for by our trained foster homes. So we always need dog fosters, but um, especially this time of year, we have a lot of underweight and baby kittens coming in. We've had moms and kittens coming in, bottle baby kittens. This is Sophie, by the way, she's super sweet. Um, she needs to be the only pet and she doesn't like the little kiddos. She just wants a low key house. Um, but we also, in addition to all the babies, we also um, have cats with respiratory infections, um, every once in a while we'll get a cat with um, an injury that needs to be addressed. 
Um, sometimes we'll have cats with urinary issues. Junior, say hi. But, hey, bud. Say hi. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sandy got tagged. Good for you. She's going to be transported out with RPM. Congratulations. She's rolling over. You can't really tell from here, but she's rolling over. She's quite happy. Luna, another gorgeous tortie down here. Five-year-old Luna. Let's see if we can get a nice view of Luna. Hi, Luna. I saw your picture on the website. You're super cute. Can we say hi? Yeah? Hi, cutie. <laughs> That's Luna. Oh, look. Junior decided to turn around so he could see what was going on. Hey, Junior. <laughs> cute. Oh, we have another cute moo kitty. I love the moo kitties. I have one at home. This is another kitty named Luna. This Luna is nine months old. Hi. Hi, cutie. I like your toe beans. Well, that was a good roll. Look at the little nose. You got two little black dots on your nose. You're precious. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I just want to squeeze them. They're so cute. Oh, hi, who are you? This is Gypsy. Let me see, paperwork says no exposure to cats, no exposure to dogs, which does well with all ages of children. Six months old. Hi, this is Gypsy. Hello, you look good in yellow. It brings out your eyes. Hello. Look at this weirdo. <laughs> so cute. She really wants to go home. Say hi. She's really working it. Yeah. Hello. Let's see, there's a cat down here named Kiwi, who I think is a little nervous. So, I don't really want to mess with her too much. We're going to move on, let her do her adjusting. Hey, hey, Mac was tagged by RPM. Congratulations. Ziggy. Ziggy is good with other cats. Ziggy has been around small dogs and has been around kids 10 years old and up. You're cute. Hello. Like her. She's sweet. Hi. Let's see who else we can meet. Hi. This is Violet. Violet, you're Violet. Hello. Violet does not like other cats. She's about a year and a half old. She hasn't been around dogs or kids. But she definitely wants to be the only cat in her house. She's precious. We have another black kitty down here who's a stray, a stray black cat. We'll take a closer look when he's adopted, adoptable, should I say. Sorelia got adopted. Congratulations. It's a pretty girl. I don't know if you remember her from last week. She got adopted. Congratulations. Let's see. Felix. 
I love how they actually know their names. Hey, Felix. He's got a real cat face. Look at that face. Not that the others don't have cat faces, obviously, but something about them. Hi. You're handsome. This is Teresa's foster. You're cute. He looks like he'd be a really great companion cat. Something tells me. He has not been around other cats. He hasn't been around dogs. Um, but he's done well with uh, kids 12 and up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Coco. Coco is... Oh, she's cute, y'all. Hold on. I want to see if I can open the kennel. Um, she, really quick, she's 10 months old. She's only been exposed to one other cat. She's never met dogs. Um, but she's been around all ages of kids. Coco, wake up. Coco, it's your chance. Hey, Coco. Like, how is she sleeping through this? I have the camera literally right in her face. Coco. Well, there you go. So, chances are she can probably sleep through the toddler screaming and crying, which is good. Hi. <laughs> oh, love it. Hey, bud. Fortuna, tagged by RPM. Yay, Fortuna. Oh, hey, there's this cat down here. I think you guys are going to like him. His name is Timmy. He gets along with other cats. He's six months old. Check him out. Isn't he cute? Love him. Look at that face. <laughs> I have a soft spot for the Siamese here. I'm trying to do this, and this cat is like, hey, play with me. All right, okay. Let's see who else we can meet. Cute. Who else can we meet? Salem. Salem is one and a half years old. Hey, look over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, you like to belly roll too. You're cute. Yeah, don't put your head in the water bowl. That's your dude. You're all wet now. His head is soaking wet. He just put his head in the water bowl, y'all. Okay, so he might not be that smart. But he's super cute. Kind of like my boyfriend from high school. Hi. You're just going to drink the water right there? That's smart. Hey, this is Cleopatra. She got tagged by RPM. Congratulations. Let's see who else. This little kitten got adopted super quick. His name was Chip. He's adopted. Super cute. Let's see. Like I said, we have a lot of black cats right now. This is Eclipse. I think we saw it earlier. Another Siamese are up here. He's really cool. This is Cusco, another foster cat. He's super talkative. I don't know if he's going to start chatting with us right now. Hey, Cusco, say hi. Nothing? He kept talking to me all morning. He talked out. Nothing else to say? Nothing? Okay. Well, you let us know, bud. Yeah, what you do? You do have something to say? That's the camera. Say hi to the peoples. <laughs> Look at that face. I love it. 
love it. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> Again, that's Cusco. He's usually very talkative. He had a lot to say to me this morning. And then I think we're back to where we started. I think that's all the cats. Yes, that is all the cats. Back to Bubba, where we started out. So we're gonna go check out rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, at 1.30, we're gonna check out the rabbits and guinea pigs now. At 1.30, we're gonna go through and meet all of the doggy doggy dogs. And we have a lot of cute doggy dogs. So definitely come back at 1.30. How cute. But right now, we're gonna see rabbits and guinea pigs. And we still have our parakeet that's up for adoption. If anyone needs a parakeet. Squeakers, our fuzzy guinea pig. I think this is a staff favorite guinea pig right now. He is cute. Hi, squeaky squeakers. Super cute. Oh my god, listen to them. Oh. Y'all, we have a lot of guinea pigs right now. Um, and so you're probably going to be hearing this sound the whole time. Isn't it cute? Can you hear it? This is Winston. Not to like age myself, but don't they sound like turbos from Star Trek? Oh, yeah. yes. And then down here is Brownie. Hey, Brownie. <laughs> oh my gosh. One of those puppies is really, really barky. Ugh. Barky puppies. This is Snowy. Snowy is one and a half years old. Super cute. And I don't really want to open the doors. I found that guinea pigs kind of do better and they come to the front of the kennel on their own. But the second I open the door, they head for the hills and they hide. So I don't really want to open the doors and, and startle them or anything. This genus is potato. Potato's a year and a half old. Likes to nibble. <laughs> eclipse is down here. Let's see if I can show you. Eclipse. That's Eclipse. He's cute. He's got little black foot. He's adorable. And then, oh my god, it's like guinea pigs everywhere. Lucy and Ethel. I'm going to try to open the door on them and we'll see because they are a bonded pair of guinea pigs. They need, do need to be adopted together. Maybe. Hi, girls. Cute. Hi. Adorable. Yes, you are. Lucy, Ethel. Um, this is our one rabbit. I can't believe we only have one rabbit right now. Um, this rabbit was found as a stray. He's gorgeous, like solid black bunny. This is a gorgeous rabbit. Found as a stray. Um, just to note, if you ever see a rabbit jumping around outside, if it's a solid brown rabbit, chances are it's a wild hare. Don't worry about catching it. But if you find a rabbit that's white or black or um, white with a few brown spots on it or something like that, that is not a wild rabbit. Wild rabbits in the States are not any other color except for brown. So if you see one of those rabbits out and about, it is somebody's lost or abandoned pet. So if you can help them out, get them up, that'd be great. These two guinea pigs on the bottom right here. Oh, that puppy is so loud. This is Sammy and Jackson. Sorry, I had to look at the paperwork really quick. This is Sammy and, of course, now they go on this side. Sammy and Jackson, there we go. <laughs> so, 
So you have two sets of bonded guinea pigs and a few singles. But that is everyone. Oh my God, look at the puppy. Goodness gracious. Oh, one other cat. Cannot believe I skipped this cat. This cat is our special cat. He has a special needs. He is FIV positive. Hey. So he does need to live with cats that are FIV positive or he needs to be the only cat in the house. Hi. He's super talkative and a really, really great cat. Um, so if you're able to have just one cat and you just want one cat, he'd be like the perfect cat for you. He's kind of acts like a dog sometimes. He's really hilarious. Hey, bud. But like I said, he is FIV positive, and so we need a loving home who can continue to care for him so he can lead a healthy, happy life. Okay, so officially that is everyone. That's all of our cats, kittens, our one rabbit, and our guinea pigs. Our plethora of guinea pigs. Y'all help us out. We have too many guinea pigs. Tell everyone you know we have guinea pigs. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, we have some great announcements coming up this week, so please stay tuned. You have a great week, and tell everyone to adopt a pet. Bye!